Penicillin was discovered accidentally, but is now a common drug that's used to treat bacterial diseases. Today, we're looking at how drugs are discovered and how they can be developed for medicinal use. Make the most of this video and your revision time with my study along workbook. It's got loads of tasks to complete while you watch and exam questions to test what you've learned. The link is in the description below or head over to emmatheteachy.com. Drugs are used in medicine to cure diseases and treat symptoms. Traditionally, drugs were extracted from plants and microorganisms. There are three examples of this to learn. The heart drug Digitalis originates from foxgloves. This plant is pretty common in the UK, but it's poisonous if eaten directly. The painkiller aspirin originates from willow trees, which look like this. And the antibiotic penicillin, which you learned about in the previous video, originates from the penicillin mold. Alexander Fleming discovered this accidentally when he left some bacterial cultures open for a while. He later found that those that had mold growing on them had clear rings around the mold where the bacteria had been killed. He struggled to extract the penicillin from the mold, but luckily two other scientists called Flory and Chin followed up on his work and were able to extract the world's first antibiotic. Nowadays, most new drugs are synthesized by chemists in the pharmaceutical industry. However, the starting point may still be a chemical extracted from a plant. This is one reason why maintaining biodiversity is so important. New medical drugs have to be tested and trialed before being used to check three things. First is toxicity. This means checking if it's poisonous or not. Secondly is efficacy, which means it has the intended effect, i.e. it treats the disease. And thirdly is the dosage. This is checking the amount of drug that needs to be taken to work best. So I have a tip for you. You can remember these three with the word TED. This is just the first letter of each of the words, and you can make the link that teddies need to be tested too to make sure they're safe before they're sold to children. See if it helps. Okay, the first stage of testing is preclinical testing. This is testing the drug in a laboratory using cells, tissues, sometimes whole organs, and live animals. Cells and tissues are used first before testing on live animals. There are a lot of strict rules before testing can be done on real animals. If the drug passes the test for the preclinical trials, then clinical trials may begin. These use healthy volunteers and patients. So first up, very low doses are given to healthy volunteers to check if they're safe or if there are any side effects. If they are safe, then they're tested on a small number of patients. This is to see if it actually treats the disease. And if it does, then larger further trials are carried out to find the optimum dose for the drug. Clinical trials are double blind trials. This means that some patients are given a placebo while other patients are given the real drug. The placebo and the real drug look identical and they're delivered in the same way, i.e. both as pills or both as injections. Neither the doctor nor the patient know what they've been given. This is what makes it a double blind trial. Only the researcher knows. And this is done to check if the drug really works or if any improvements in health are just due to the placebo effect. The results of drugs testing and trials are only published after scrutiny by peer review. This is when other scientists check the results to make sure they're robust and true. If they are, they'll get published in a scientific journal and then national health bodies will look at the results and decide which drugs should be produced and offered on the NHS. Okay, it's time for the quick questions. Let's check what you've understood. Just pause the video and try the questions, and then when you're all done, press play to go through the answers. One, match the drug to the plant or microorganism it was originally extracted from. So aspirin was extracted from the willow tree, Penicillin came from the penicillum mold, and digitalis was foxglove. Two, what three things should new medical drugs be tested for? 
Just remember TED and it stands for toxicity, efficacy and dosage. Three, name and describe the first stage of drugs testing. This is preclinical trials. This is done in the laboratory on cells, tissues, sometimes whole organs and then live animals. This checks if the drug is safe, i.e. non-toxic. Okay, how did you do on the questions? If you study combined science, then well done, because that's the end of this topic. If you're biology only, click here to keep learning. I hope you've enjoyed watching this. Thank you again, and bye.